All right, so last week I posted a YouTube video about how I made my game in the JMonkey 3D engine. And today I want to show off uh, something that wasn't weighted uh, in particular in that video. And that's an implementation of the Leap Motion Controller. Uh, the Leap Motion Controller is, is quite fantastic. So just to give a sh brief introduction of how the Leap Motion works, um, I'm going to start up the visualizer. The Leap Motion is this little uh, brick here. Um, it has some, some uh, infrared lights and some camera sensors that uh, scans the area above it so, so we can find your hands or tools or anything in, in particular. So by moving my hand over I can get a perfect match of where my hand is in a 3D space. Move it backwards, forwards, up and down. Uh, it a little, a little bit poor on, on grabbing stuff as it loses the vision of where my fingers are. But it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, with with this perfect match and how I how it detects my hand and, and motion and, and rotation of the hand in in somewhat uh, can even use two hands or or if you have a tool it will detect uh, a tool or uh, gestures or swipes or anything like that uh, so that's the basic idea of the leap motion controller um, so to play a little bit more around with it I implemented it in the game I developed as well. So I'm gonna have a quick run here at uh, how that worked. So I'm just gonna shut off the sound. Okay, so here we are. Um, I can still move around. And I haven't touched delete motion yet, but um, the implementation of the leap motion in this case only uses uh, the, the only controls the movement, uh, like rotating, moving forward and backwards. Um, a little experimental is that um, you can all also set the speed. Uh, so, so by moving the hand now, I can press it. I can try to press it down to to move it forward. Try to rotate it nice and easily. If I take the hand a little bit back, oh, it, it will stop. Kind of hard to find that magic place. Uh, and it also backs off if I pull my hand back, but I don't want to pull it. Okay, let me just readjust the Elite Motion Controller. Okay, so we'll try to move forward. So I can shift my hands to the left and right to, to make it rotate. To rotate. Uh, and if I tilt my hand, it will go a little bit faster. Like this. Alright, I made the first map. And so, then I can like move. Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit tedious to, to move it around, but if I after some practice, I get more control of it. And if I really press my hands down, which makes it hard to swing, uh, it can go really fast. As I'm measure taking out the the distance uh, from the leap motion to my hand as a factor to speed. So the closer it is, the faster it can go. But uh, the calculations for the rotation is even harder. Oh, let me back up. Yep. And when it's backing up, I have a default speed, so it can't exaggerate no matter how far I pull my hands back. And in, in somewhere in the middle here, it should be a neutral zone, so it doesn't rotate or, uh, and it doesn't move. So that's pretty much how I've tried to implement the Leap Motion Controller uh, in my game. Um, there's a lot of challenges with doing this right and making a good game out of it. Um, as you can't turn the leap motion off, uh, I haven't quite uh, implemented a way of going out of the leap motion control because as I exit, um, it just uses the default. 
last position it ha it had registered. So I still need to quite figure this one out and ideal I would use my full hand to control the the uh, arm uh, the boom and the arm and the shovel as well uh, to extend my uh, excavator to my full extent of my hand that would be really awesome so yeah thanks for watching